Ahead on Daytime Buffalo, comedian Seth Payne drops by ahead of his stand-up special at Bayville tonight. And Georgetown Square Wine and Liquor is here with a cozy cocktail that is sure to get you through the rest of winter. It's all coming up right now on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Joining me now is stand-up comedian Seth Payne. Hi, Seth. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, tell us about how you got your start in comedy. Yeah, so uh, I actually started comedy out in D.C. Uh, nine years ago, believe it or not, and uh, moved out to Chicago in 2019. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of stand-up, improv, sketch for quite a few years now, but mostly focused on stand-up these days. Nice. Yeah. Now, you're originally from Buffalo, which I is your, we love a native, but yeah. this will be your first time performing in Buffalo tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of been a big buildup for a while. Um, I'm super excited. This is the first time I've ever gonna do like a full uh, special. So yeah. like 45 to an hour long special. I figured bring it to the hometown, uh, one of my favorite cities in the world, so. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo, of course. Yeah. Uh, is it a little nerve-wracking? Like, you're, all of your friends and family yeah. grew up seeing you. I'm sure they all think you're funny. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. now they're getting to see you, like, do an entire special. That's pretty big. Exactly. I'm building this up to a crazy point, so absolutely no pressure, right? Yeah, but... no pressure. No <laughs> but, pressure at all. No, I'm super excited. Uh, we're going to have a blast. We sold out the first show. There's still tickets for the later one, um, but it's at Babeville. I'm super excited that the venue rules. So mm -hmm. It's a cool venue. Great time. Now, what are some big clubs or comedy festivals you've been able to perform at? Yeah, I've actually uh, been able to perform at Laugh Factory in Chicago, um, Zany's as well in Old Town there, uh, the North Carolina Comedy Festival. Wow. I've performed in Brooklyn um, at St. Mark's Comedy Club and uh, Flappers in LA, just to name a few. It's been <laughs> well, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. How do you describe your comedy style? Uh, yeah, it's definitely wacky. Zany. Uh, I don't really get like too political at all. It's yeah. more just stuff that makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, I try and make other people laugh in the same vein for sure. Are you interactive with the crowd or is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, there's, there's points where like I like to throw it out to them and then we have fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, none of the classic like, you know, how did you guys meet? I, I go a little bit outside of the box with that. Uh -huh. So try and keep it fresh. Who are some of the comedy legends that kind of inspire you? Oh, wow. Uh, I love Steve Martin. Uh, lately, like Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura, I think are hysterical, um, amazing comics. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There, there's so many that I've really drawn inspiration from uh, over the years. But yeah, those are probably my top picks for sure. And when we were talking before the interview, you actually mentioned that you feel like a lot of your your funniness or your comedy actually comes from your dad. Yes, big time. That's probably my biggest inspiration, honestly. Uh, he's always cracked me up to this day. He still makes me laugh, but yeah, he's he's definitely made our family way funnier as a result. <laughs> so I'm excited. He's going to be there tonight. So hopefully, yeah. We'll Is get he him going. excited to see you? Is this yes. the first time seeing? Yeah, he's coming to both shows okay. too. So uh, hopefully, can get him chuckling at some points. But he's got a plethora of dad jokes. <laughs> So it's going to be hard to top. in the bag. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Um, but if he doesn't like you, you've got some opening acts, right? I do, yeah. I, I do have a couple, exactly. There's a little variety. Um, I've got my buddy Ron Hexagon, who's a mu music, like comedy, uh, musical comedy, I should say. Uh, he's from Chicago, originally from Seattle. And then I have two comics coming in from New York City, Zach Deesh, he's actually from Buffalo originally as well. And then Brad Rickert, who's from uh, like the Indiana, Chicago area. So nice variety of like East Coaster, West Coasters, all over the coasters. All, all the coasts. All the coast. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite part about doing stand-up? Oh man, just making people laugh. I mean, it's, it's fun getting up there, being wacky. Uh, I don't know, like just being able to be myself on stage. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, I try and dress bright and yeah. kind of have a bright attitude. Um, but yeah, just making people laugh and having a good time, making them, you know, kind of forget about all the craziness for like a hot minute and just kind of connecting with them in the crowd. It's, it's the best. What's your, what's your go-to for like a, a type five? Where are you like, this is where I know I'm, I've got people. Yeah. Um, geez. Like, uh, 
type five, like just like what are my go-to jokes? Yeah, yeah, like what are your what's your like style that you're like this always works for me? Oh sure, yeah. Um, I actually do a lot of buffalo material, yeah. which yeah, it, I'm hoping we'll do a lot better here. I usually <laughs> have to tell people buffalo is a real place uh, in yeah. Chicago and and West. <laughs> and then uh, kind of just talk about you know the the miseries I've suffered with the Bills and the Sabers over the years and try and relate that. Um, oh, that'll sure way. to be a yeah. hit. That'll <laughs> sure. Um, all the Buffalonians can relate to that. Yeah, definitely. What are the hopes for you in your comedy career? Oh man, I'd love to keep touring uh, around the country. Uh, maybe even go to Europe at some point. Be awesome. Uh, this special is going to be released on YouTube this summer, so stay tuned if you can't make it to the show tonight. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, but hopefully get booked more and hopefully come up with like a whole new hour by next year and get to do it all over again in Buffalo. So hopefully turn this into like an annual thing, which would be awesome. I like it. And yeah. you definitely need to keep making Buffalo a tour stop for you. Definitely. That'd be awesome. We want to have you back. For sure. <laughs> thank you. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Seth, course, and yeah. uh, making us laugh a bit. Listen, the 8 o'clock show has already sold out, but you can get tickets for the 10 o'clock show at BayvilleBuffalo.com. Thanks again for coming in. Oh my God, thank you so much. Break a leg. Thank you. Appreciate it.